Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Leanna and today we are talking about a few things. Number one, yes I am recording. I just did this whole video and realized I wasn't recording. So here we go again. So today we are talking about a return case that I had to open on a purchase I had. We're going to talk about Poshmark live shows and silent shows and my frustration with them. And we're going to talk about taking time off to recalibrate and just refresh ourselves. If this is the kind of content that you enjoy, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. We're going to start with my return. Um, to begin with, I'm going to let you know that I love old movies. Old movies are my jam and Cary Grant is one of my most favorite actors of all time. I have been searching for something Cary Grant to put up on my wall in our TV room because it's very old Hollywood. It's got John Wayne and Marilyn Monroe and things like that. And I wa really, really wanted to have some Cary Grant memorabilia. That's a good word to put up on the wall. I did find something on Poshmark Canada. It was an ad for a poster. It was an ad for the movie, The Philadelphia Story, which also has James Stewart and Katherine Hepburn, who is my other favorite. I was so ecstatic, ecstatic to find this. It was a an ad, a movie ad, and it was encased, like it had a glass frame, but it was just one of those frames that are just glass with the hard back, so there's no wood around it. I don't know what this is, but anyway, that's all it was. But I was so excited. I sent an offer to the seller. She accepted it fairly fast, and she shipped the item really, really quickly. I was so happy. This all happened on the 11th. It was supposed to get to me by the 15th, it showed up a day early, so Valentine's Day, I'm like, oh, my heart's going, ah, I'm going to put this on my wall. I was so excited until I opened my front door and saw how it was packaged. And I was like, oh, no, please let it be okay, because this is a glass frame. Please let it be okay. I opened it up, and the glass was smashed. And you know what? I think the seller did try to make sure it was protected, but it just wasn't enough. Um, they had masking tape across the front of the glass to help. They had put the frame itself between two pieces of bubble mailer. And then they had put that between, um, a, like in a cereal box type cardboard. I think it was hamburgers or something. And you know what? I'm all for recycling that stuff. I have no problems with that. But they had put them like that and then just wrapped it in brown paper and wrote fragile on it. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it was like, oh, this is not going to be enough. I think it's just not, not quite there. And yeah, the glass was smashed. So I was, I was upset. I wasn't, oh, I wasn't going Ugh, or anything like that, but I was upset because I was really looking forward to this. I had to open a case and you know what? There's been a little bit of talk. Somebody somewhere else said, oh, I didn't want to open a case cause I used posh credit. And I'm like, I use posh credit to buy this and I don't care. I still wanted to open a case because the seller didn't deserve the money for it. You know, and it's unfortunate. It's just the way it is. I opened the case. I provided photos. I was not rude because I am not a rude person. I understand that, you know what, poop happens and whatever. But I was unhappy. That's how I left it. I will give Poshmark kudos. They did um, deal with all of this within 24 hours, which I was very, very pleased with. Um, it came to the point where I got all my credit back and whatever money I did spend, plus I could do whatever I wanted with the item, which is good because that means I can keep the poster. I'm just going to go out and buy a new frame for it. Perfect. Fine. Why I'm bringing it up is because the seller did not respond whatsoever to the case at all. And I have a couple of small issues with that. Well, not small. Um, number one, on Poshmark, yeah, you can get away with doing that because Poshmark doesn't have a lot of repercussions. But if you want to build your business and you want to go to other platforms like eBay, you cannot ignore return requests, period. eBay wants you to deal with it. And if you have this attitude where they're like, well, I'm not going to bother, you will get into trouble on eBay. 100% you will get into trouble. And if it continues to happen, you won't have an eBay account. So keep that in mind. Second part is that it's just not really good customer service. Ignoring your buyers is not good customer service at all. We have talked about, you know, I answer all questions. When I have had a case, I have always answered the case. I've said something, whether I've directed it right to Poshmark if the buyer was a little rude, or I've actually said something to the buyer, 
you know, to say I'm sorry. Always, always, always respond. I don't like the attitude that some people have where they're like, ah, I don't care, I'm not going to respond, Poshmark will take care of it. I think you lose buyers that way. Now, at the beginning of this case, I thought, okay, you know what, they tried, they're a newer seller, that's okay. It didn't put me off buying from them. But because they didn't respond at all, it kind of put me off buying from them. And it got me thinking. I always respond to cases, I always answer questions, and I, I'm very firm about doing that and I talk about it. But I realized that it always so goes with the positive. So if somebody's taken the time to give me a five-star review and actually made a really nice comment, I should be acknowledging that. I should not be ignoring that. I should be sending them a message saying, hey, thank you very much, I'm really glad you're happy, right? It made me think, oh, I gotta start doing that. I think that would be a really good thing to do for my customer service level. Um, with reviews and that on Poshmark, I mean, yeah, they're not all that important in some ways, but I think you sh I think I <laughs> should be acknowledging buyers that take the time to respond to me, that I should make it the time for them. If it's a less than five star review and they leave feedback that's actually good feedback or learning feedback, I believe I should be responding to that as well. I'm sorry you're not 100% happy, but thank you very much for the feedback. In the future or going forward, I'm going to take that into consideration. Those, I think I will absolutely start to incorporate that in my business and I think that might help. I will never go chasing a bad review though, like if someone gives me a three star and puts other, I can't help you and you know, and that's okay. I most of the time let them roll off my back. So. The return was interesting and then learning that about me and my business, I think is going to help improve my business going forward. All right, speaking of going forward, let's move on to Poshmark live shows, silent shows. I think I've mentioned before that I am trying silent shows out. They do work for me in the sense that I am comfortable doing them. I have made a couple of sales and I thought, okay, you know what? I'm going to schedule one every Thursday, 3.15, and see how it goes. I did schedule one on Sunday at 3.15, and it was a total bust. But you know what? It was also Super Bowl Sunday, and whatever. So, But it didn't put me off. And my issue with silent shows right now is that they keep defaulting to live shows. So I will schedule a show, specifically choose silent, and it, they'll, they'll start up and they'll be live. And that's very frustrating for me because I'm ready to go silent, so all my listings are there. I have no listings in front of me. And I start my show and all of a sudden I'm on camera. Oops. <laughs> and it's, it's annoying, it's frustrating, because then I've tried to exit out and go back in and it's not working for me. And I have to reschedule the show really quickly and reload up everything that was in there. So it's like, it's frustrating to me. I, that's happened I think three or four times now and on Thursday what happened was I had to change the time of my show because something happened and Thursday at 3.15 wasn't going to work so I thought you know what heck I'll just do it in the morning I have time in the morning so I just changed the time double check that it still said silent it did fine I go to start the show and I'm, I'm a minute in I go and double check that it's still on silent and it is I'm like great we're gonna go start my show and it's live. I'm like, <sighs> there was a few choice words that came out of my mouth. I was not happy. I was like, mm, this, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And I emailed Posh Support and said, why does this keep happening? When will this glitch be fixed? Because I really want to take advantage of this feature. And they did finally get back to me yesterday, which good timing, but Again, they didn't really answer my question. I don't think they, I don't know. I There's some sort of miscommunication with Posh Support and my emails, but they suggested I clear my cache and maybe that'll help. So I did that and I've rescheduled the show for today at 3.15. Um, it is only just after 12 here right now. I will leave a pinned comment down below and let you know how it went if I still had issues or if it went off all right because I still want to try it. Um, we'll see what happens. I did clear my cache. You have to start them on Chrome. It doesn't work in Firefox. So I know that. Part of me is thinking maybe I'll just do it on my phone. Maybe it's the computer that's having the issue and not 
the actual app. So I'll, I'm going to make that decision in a couple of, well, in a couple hours when I actually have to sit down and do it. I still have to go to the post office. So anyway, anyway, <laughs> I was very frustrated yesterday morning and I decided right then and there that I'm done. I'm just done with Poshmark. I'm not going to list today. I'm not going to relist today. I'm not going to do anything. You know, I have Posh Sidekick, you know, sending out offers and sharing. So I'm done. I'm not even going to worry about it. And I did nothing yesterday. <laughs> I did the fun stuff yesterday. We went to the cross border shipper. We went to the bins for like 10 minutes. I got some great stuff. We picked up a few things at auctions that were that ended over the week. So we did pick up a few more things. So we went sourcing. I read my book. I made a nice dinner and I went to bed early and it was fantastic. It was a great day. Sometimes you need to take that step back. Like I understand that you want to work hard and you got to get this done and get this done and get this done because it, you know, that will breed success. But once in a while you got to take that step back and go, oh, you know, for me, it really helped because today I feel much more motivated to do the things I want to do. So I have relisted. I have, I'm doing my video. I'm going to do my show later. I've got to go to the post office with a couple of items, which is great. That always motivates me. And I know that like tomorrow I'm going to go to the office and do some photos so I can get some listing done and all that. So I'm, I feel good that I took the time off. This business is 24 seven. So you have to remember to take some downtime. Um, I know people that take their phones to bed with them. They need the alarms or whatever. I've, oh, I can't do that. I, I turn off my phone. I do turn off my phone. I don't need an alarm. So I'm lucky. I turn it off about eight o'clock at night till when I get up about six. Six, five, four, three depends. Today was 3 a.m. I don't know. But it's 8 o'clock at night till whenever I get up, that's the phone is off completely. I am not bothered in the middle of the night with somebody asking a question or whatever. And if they can't wait for a few hours for me to answer the question, that's okay. It's just the way it is. It's really important in this business to step away from the screens and from the business. Even though yesterday I did do business stuff, it was the fun stuff and it really recharged my batteries. So keep that in mind. That is it for today. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. Let me know down below if you think my school of thought with responding to buyers is on track, whether you do that as well. Let me know if you're doing shows because I'm curious if they're working for anybody else. And I hope everybody remembers to take some downtime. Okay, I will see everybody next week. Have a good one. Bye.